Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on generating mesh using Snappy Hex Mesh in OpenFoam. In this tutorial, we will learn to generate mesh using Snappy Hex Mesh utility, similar temperature distribution of a flange. As a prerequisite, you should know parameters in Snappy Hex Mesh Dict to generate mesh. For more details, refer the tutorial on introduction to Snappy Hex Mesh in OpenFoam. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system version 12.04, OpenFoam version 2.2.2, Paraview version 3.12.0. We are solving an existing case of flange from Laplacian Foam in basic directory. Laplacian Foam solver solves simple Laplace equations. Now let us go to home folder and click on openform 2.2.2 folder. You will see tutorials. Click on it. Then click on mesh folder. You will see the snappy hex mesh folder. Click on it. In this folder, create a new folder by name flange underscore one. Now let's go back two levels. Open the basic folder. You will see Laplacian Foam folder. Click on it. You will see flange case. Click on it to open the folder. Copy the three folders 0, constant and system. Now let us go three levels back. Paste the copied folders inside the flange underscore one folder. Now let us go one level back. Click on flange folder. You will see constant and system folders. Click on system folder. Copy snappy hex mesh dict and surface feature extract dict from this folder. Now let us go two levels back. Paste these two files inside the system directory of flange underscore one folder. Now let us go one level back. Click on constant folder. In this, create a folder by name try surface. Now let us go four levels back. Open the resources folder. You will see geometry folder. Now open the geometry folder. In this, you will see flange.stl.gz file. Extract this file. Give the path of tri surface folder in constant directory of flange underscore one folder. Now close this. Open command terminal and enter the path for flange underscore one as shown. Type cd space open form hyphen 2.2.2 slash tutorials slash mesh slash snappy hex mesh slash flange underscore one and press enter. Now type ls and press enter. There are three folders zero constant and system. Type cd space constant and press enter. Now type ls and press enter. You will see the poly mesh and tri surface folders. Type cd space polymesh and press enter. Now type ls and press enter. You can see the block mesh dict file. To view the content of the file, type gedit space block mesh dict and press enter. This will open up the block mesh dict file. This file contains coordinates for hex mesh and boundary patches. Now close this and in the command terminal type cd space dot dot and press enter. Again type cd space dot dot and press enter. Now type cd space system and press enter. Now type ls and press enter. You can see the surface feature extract dict file. 
to view the content of the file, type gedit space surface feature extract it and press enter. Note that F, E and D here are capital. This will open up the surface feature extract dict file. This file contains the information about geometry's feature edges. The includer angle is taken as 150. Now close this. In command terminal, type gedit space snappy hex mesh dict and press enter. Note that H, M and D here are capital. This will open up the snappy hex mesh dict file. This file contains all the instructions about snappy hex mesh. In snappy hex mesh dict, I have already made some changes. I have named flange.stl same as that of STL file which is in the constant slash try surface directory. For explicit feature edge refinement in castellated mesh controls, I have given the file name flange.emesh. This file is obtained by surface feature extract utility. The remaining details in the snappy hex mesh have changed as per requirements. Now close this and in command terminal type cd space dot dot and press enter. Type cd space zero and press enter. Type ls and press enter. You can see the t file. Now type gedit space t and press enter. This will open up the T file. You will see the initial conditions for every patch. Now, we have to give initial conditions for all patches of flange. Copy the initial conditions for patch 1 and paste it after patch 4 in the same file T. Now type flange underscore before this patch 1. Similarly, we can do this for patch 2, 3 and 4. Save this T file and close it. And in the command terminal, type cd space dot dot and press enter. Now, we need to mesh the geometry. For that, in command terminal, type block mesh and press enter. Meshing is done. Now type surface feature extract and press enter. Note that F and E here are capital. Surface feature extraction is done. Now type snappy hex mesh dash overwrite and press enter. Dash overwrite command will prevent copying the files from the last time folder. If not, the resulting meshes will be inside the next time folder, possibly the folders 1, 2 and 3. Meshing will take some time. Now, meshing is completed. For simulating temperature distribution, we are using Laplacian foam solver. In the command terminal, type Laplacian foam and press enter. Note that F here is capital. Iterations running will be seen in the terminal window. Once solving is completed, type parafoam and press enter to view the geometry and the results. This will open up the paraview window. On the left hand side of paraview window, click on apply. The geometry can be seen here. Scroll down the properties panel of the object inspector menu. Check the box for T in the volume fields and click on apply. Now go to the top of the active variable control drop down menu. Change from solid color to capital T which is the initial condition for the flange. Now on the top of the paraview window you can see the VCR controls. Click on the play button. Now this is the final result for temperature distribution of a flange. Toggle on the color legend 
by clicking on top left of the active variable control menu. This is the color legend for temperature T. Now let me get back to the slides. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. As an assignment, change some parameters in the snappy hex mesh dict. Refinement parameters, location in mesh coordinates, snap controls, etc. You can also change the temperature in the zero folder and view the results in the para view. In this tutorial, we learned to generate mesh by snappy hex mesh utility in open foam, similar temperature distribution of a flange. Watch the video available at this URL. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the red spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken tutorials are part of Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on the same is available at following URL. This is Shaitrali Gorke from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.